May 9th, 2020, doesn't matter what day it is. I'm doing well. Um, I've gotten better at staying in first person for the most part. Uh, just takes a little work, a little bit of practice. You know, got to do your mental reps every day. And I was thinking, what would be the next step? So now that I've gotten a little better at staying in first person and going from thir first to third, staying in that pocket a little bit, um, where do I go from here? And I think the next step would be like actually, you know, I was going to say, <laughs> this is how fucked up I am. I was going to say, uh, you know, actually loving myself, but immediately, as soon as the word love started to even form in my brain, I was like, ah, let's, let's, let's turn that down a little bit. You know, liking myself, appreciating, tolerating, just let's, 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 let's turn that, those levels down a little bit. Uh, so <laughs> we'll get to, we'll get to love eventually. Um, uh, <laughs> So yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking now I got to, I got to learn to actually like, like being me. So now that I'm able to be in first person, you know, moderately consistent, now I need to enjoy the avatar that I'm in. If you're a video game nerd, I don't know, kind of picture it like, like, I don't know video games. I'm probably sound like a jackass when I try to make this comparison or metaphor or whatever, but picture it like, uh, okay, like you're making an avatar in the beginning of GTA or whatever other fucking games you guys, you fucking nerds play, and somebody else put together your avatar for you, and it is a shitty avatar. Like, its charisma is low, and it's, it's too, it's awkwardly built. I don't know. I don't know shit about, I don't know shit about video games. I should have come up with a different, uh, different analogy. Either way. Um, yeah, yeah, so, so, yeah, working on that. Now, Obviously, I didn't have anybody in my life to build me up in any particular way, in a positive way, and uh, teach me. I think that's something you have to learn how to do, to love yourself. Or to, oh, you know what, let's, 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 let's turn that heat a little bit, to like yourself. Um, yeah, I think that that's going to take, like, practice and work. And I was trying to figure out, you know, I was thinking through, like, how did I get to this point? What did I do with myself mentally? How did I practice getting to where I am now? I think I've made some leaps and some strides. If you've been listening consistently, I've grown as a person, I think, hopefully. I'm trying to think like how to go about it. And what, what, what my plan is right now is to just give myself fucking pep talks every morning. Like when, you know, like when, you know, the, the mean coach, the one that like, that wants to build you up, but he, you know, he's got to be an asshole about it. Just every morning, look in the mirror. Hey, you are, you're the shit. You are amazing. You are amazing. Don't you ever let anybody, anybody tell you how to goddamn feel about yourself. Just, just every morning, every morning do a speech like I'm in, remember the Titans right before the last game. Just get hyped up. Um, I'm sure it'll be awkward and, and weird at first, but you know, what isn't? This is this 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 podcast is still awkward and weird. I'm still trying to fucking click it together, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Um see so that's my plan. I was listening to a lot of of I <laughs> I got bored and I decided to that's a thing that I think most people have experienced uh during this quarantine. That phrase, I got bored. That's going to be probably the phrase of, of 20. No, oh, I got bored or social distance, six feet apart. Those are the phrases of 2020. Um, but I got bored and I looked up. Yo, I looked up. Um, oh, shit. Some dude just punched his car. Oh, he looks mad. Uh, oh, shit. Why do white dudes do that? Why do y'all want to punch things? I do, the amount of holes and walls I would see when I would go to my, my white friend's houses, when, if those kids had like a temper, I, I almost said a name. I don't want to say a name. But, but I would go to their houses, and it was always like a white dude, and he'd always get mad. It's always like, shut up, mom! And then boom, just crack the fucking wall like he's Mike Tyson. Where does that fucking come from? Why are you guys so mad? Anyway. This has gotten really racist and overgeneralized. My apologies, uh, my white 
fans if I have it. I, guys, guys, just fucking email. Just do it. You're not doing shit right now. Just email in. Even if you're talking shit, I'll read it. Either way, I was I was reading oh, reading. I was listening to the a compilation, and there's like I think there's like ten of them, and they're all about an hour and some change. Um, compilation of Bill Burr giving life advice, and one of the things that was just really consistent about what he was saying was essentially in um, in so many words, just you know, like yourself, be okay with who you are, and and be proud of who you are, all that cute shit. Um, you know, that fucking Saved by the Bell. Shit, what is that? What is that with the twins? They got fucked. They became prostitutes or whatever. Uh, the Olsen twins. What's it called? Beaver? What is it? They're in San Francisco. And uh, that comic who curses a lot is playing like a, a wholesome dad that picks up the newspaper and wears... <coughs> wears bathrobes and shit. Um... I was listening to him, and essentially it was coming down to just, you know, look, like, like yourself, love yourself, whatever. And it seems like, you know, I've been, emula- I've been trying to emulate a lot from Patrice and Dave, but when it comes to the whole building yourself up and confidence thing, it seems like I got to go the Bill Burr route. Like, Dave and Patrice had this sense of confidence seemingly throughout their career, whereas from what I understand of Bill Burr's career and his history... That was a build. That was a process. Like young Bill Burr, Bill Burr when he was my age, I w- was very angry and insecure. From what I understand, uh, he would yell at the audience, "This is sounding like me." He would get upset at people. This is sounding like me. He would take things really personally. This was sounding like me. Uh, and so, if you know, God, there's fucking dogs everywhere. Hold up. There's goddamn dogs all over this place, man. Um, I love dogs too. I don't know why I sound angry. Well, I sound angry because they're interrupting my fucking podcast. This is important. I need to solidify, solidify myself in the annals of history. All right. So, uh, Bill, Burr, yeah, yeah. That was. It was, seemed to be like a process for him. Like it, it took work, and he had to figure it out. And you know, I, I um, you got to learn. Got to learn from the best. And so, yeah, should build myself up want to enjoy being myself I think that that liking being me not only is going to help with having fun uh, in general in life but it's also going to help on stage um, there's an episode I did with, with well hold up no I want this to be one of the short episodes I'll do a rant episode later so keeping this short basically now that I'm, I've been able to do first person and third person a little better you know I'm still working on it still doing my reps still doing my mental push ups getting there but but uh, now that I'm better at it, I think now it's time to work on actually liking myself, being acquainted with myself every morning, giving that pep talk, and we'll see what it does to my mental state. We'll see what it, how it makes me feel. I can't imagine it's going to make me feel bad. You know, I can't, I can't see myself after like three or four months prepping myself up and then getting on the podcast and talking about how shitty I am. That doesn't make any sense. So we'll see what happens, and uh, yeah, if you if you fucking I'll, I'm gonna do this every episode now. I'm gonna whore myself out. Look at me in my comedic pasties. Listen to my sultry voice. If you like, <laughs> so stupid. If you like, if you like what I do, if you like this bullshit, and you know at least one other person that you think would like it, would latch onto it. Um, send it on over to them. Share it with them, and help me achieve my dreams. All right, till next time.